indigas. When I think of indigas, I see that we are going to go into the minuses. If we look at the number line, we can go to minuses. If we plus or minus, the answer usually goes into the minus. I'm going to show you just now. Very important when we look on the number line, I have a number here from minus 10 to 10. This side of the, um, I would say the plus side, it is you add. When we go, if I have to add, I'm going to move right hand side. If we subtract, we're going to the left hand side. Very important to remember that the numbers that we usually are used to, the whole numbers name, is a plus. You can basically just say plus two, plus one this side. But we don't write it. So this is the positive integers, the positive numbers. And then the uh, negative side of the number line is the negative integers. It's the minus numbers. So I will explain to you guys just that now. And then if we look at the zero, the zero is no positive, no negative. That's just a number line. And then I quickly want to see, I'm going to show you guys just now how we're going to move from and how we're going to work it out. Now, very important to remember when we're going to do the um, number lines now, the rule with the times, there's a rule for a division as well when we work with the because very important, minus times a plus gives you a minus. The moment that these two uh, symbols are opposite, it gives you a minus. A plus times a minus gives you a minus. And then the moment that those are the same, it's going to give you positive. This is actually a positive. That's not a negative. This must be a positive. Minus times a minus will give you a positive there. Okay, the first number we're going to do the sum is 1 plus 7. So I'm going to look at my number line. There's the 1 here. I have to add 7. If I have to add 7, my, I'm going to move that side. I obviously know 1 plus 7 can give me an answer. So just let me work on the number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to be 8. That one is easier. I know what everyone knows 1 plus 7 is going to be 8. The next one is minus 7 plus 2. If you're going to look this side, minus 7 is here. I have to plus 2. I have to add 2. Plus add 2. So I'm going to move this side. 1, 2. My answer is going to be minus 5. Now we're going to do a sum here. A 4 plus, in the bracket, minus 5. So in the moment when you see a plus, we know that this bracket needs times. Plus times a minus, we've learned that it's going to be a minus. So this is how it's going to look like. 4 <coughs> minus 5. So let's look at the number line. 4 minus 5 is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to be minus 1. Because we are on minus one. I'm going to do another one. Let's say three plus minus 12. Again, we can see that there is a plus times a minus. That's going to give you a minus. We've learned that. So three minus 12. Let's quickly look where the three are. I'm going to use a different color here. Three. Minus means minus means subtract me. Minus. I'm going to go to the left side. We're going to minus 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Minus 12. This is going to give you minus 9. And that is all for the first um, section of integers.